<clears throat> the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 36 but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they have they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment Shalom Akim first and foremost I like to give all praises and honor and glory that's definitely due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikach Radash. I'm from the Prophets in Babylon out of the Waco, Texas camp, affiliated with the Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Atiyah. I like to give a special double honors that's due to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone, those fine, sincere brothers who teach well and who rule well and are great examples to us brothers out here and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel lesson for today S slander is a very it's something that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah hates and um, Lord willing I hope this is an edifying lesson uh, yeah um, I was inspired to do this video because uh, the beloved brother um, Elder Montezakba he, he uh, put up a video I say it's about maybe two, two and a half minutes or so maybe close to three and on the video it has the I guess the guy that's second in command Deacon ASAP now he's on there and you know he's slandering the you know uh, the elder apostles you know our our teachers our instructors you know and so uh lock lock you uh slandering and and, and uh, you know bearing false witness you know he he was he made mockery first and foremost above all things he made mockery of the heavenly father's name as well as the the son's name which is Yahweh. the father's name is the heavenly father's name is Yahweh. the son's name is Yahweh Shah. and he went back several times saying saying this repeating it and saying it in a in a mocking manner you know and he don't realize that he just marked himself, you know? And then on top of that, you know, he slandering the brothers, you know, our elder apostles, you know, who we have learned from. And, and you know, they have a problem with the, uh, with the great issue, you know, which is in the Bible. But at the end of the day, you, have a problem with what the scriptures say and not with those elder apostles because only the el only what it is that the elder apostles only bring out what's what's said in the bible they're not going out and doing moving on their own accord they're moving through the scripture you know through the spirit of Yahweh by shem yahweh shah and of course they're not out um you know raping young girls and now you sit here and say that they're uh you know, moles and things of that nature, man. You know, it's just it's, it, you know, it's just basically slander. You know, and that's why I came up with the scripture of uh, through the spirit of twelve of, of Matthew chapter twelve and verse thirty six, and I'll read it again. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak. They shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. Yeah. So Deacon Asap, I guess he's the number two man, is gonna give it have to give an account for what he's what he said, you know. And what he said was a, a, a wicked, you know. You know, slandering brothers, you know, accusing them, falsely accusing, you know. So without further ado, let's go into it and Let's get some scriptures about this slandering. Psalms 
Psalms chapter one, well, Psalms Salakia, um, Psalms 101 verse five. Whoso privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that have a high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Yeah, so, you know, from their leader on down, which he represents a very proud, prideful spirit. You know, he's he's coming in on the, you know, on a on a horse. He's running this last year, uh, earlier this year, during the Passover. He he he's running out here on the stage like he's some, you know, mega star. star you know, you know, just all kind of, you know, not not a humble spirit, man. This, you know, we. We're supposed to be, Salaki, so we're supposed to be in a uh, humble spirit, you know? Yahweh Shai was the, was the perfect example of how to be in a humble spirit. He, he rode in on a, on a donkey, and here this man, he comes in on a, on a horse, you know? For, for, for the Passover. So it just shows you he has a, uh, a very demi, demigod, over inflated spirit uh prideful and proud and 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 his his you know followers are, are in that same spirit man proverbs chapter 10 and 18 he that hideth hatred with lying lips and he that other slander is a fool yeah so they're being foolish right now with these with these uh you know lying on the brothers you know what i'm saying i mean you know the other apostles could really you know take some legal action against these men you know to for this slander really you know you know um And you know, like I say, this 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 slandering that they're doing is just utterly foolish, man. The scriptures tell you this. James chapter four and verse eleven: Speak not evil one another, one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judges his brother speaketh evil of the law and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, Thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. Now, that's funny. You know, these guys are always, this group IUIC is always talking about the laws, statutes, statutes, and the commandments. But you're sitting around, you're, you're uh, 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 slandering brothers who are doing the work. And yeah, the brothers do, you know, the elder apostles on down do reprove y'all, but it's only through the scriptures. It's nothing... It's nothing about being jealous or anything like that. It's just that the brothers are following the the, the uh, following following through with the scriptures. The scriptures tell you to repro reprove and rebuke, you know. And that's what these you know the elder apostles on down are doing. Exodus chapter twenty. Verse 16, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. And this is exactly what they're doing right now. Sitting here saying that that uh, that the you know our beloved elder apostles are or uh, you know doing these you know making making these false accusations on these brothers, you know, with no proof. You know, the, the scriptures are being brought out and they're cut. Now, you know, we're we're in Esau's uh, 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 rulership. So as far as the laws, there's only so many laws that we can follow. And it, we definitely can't do that law. You know what I'm saying? You know, so there's no brothers out here doing those things, you know. But you falsely accuse men beginning with the elder apostles on down of doing these things you know and it's funny you know 
the same thing happened a while back with uh with brother brother polite Slocky. he did the same thing and when it happened with him you know, falsely accusing the elder apostles, and, and, and the elder apostles came to him, and, and, and you know, were, were sincere with him through the scriptures, showing them through the scriptures everything, and everything that they were saying and bringing out was under the laws, you know. And again, you know, there are some laws that we can follow, and there's some laws we can't, you know, and it is what it is. We're in captivity, so there's no brothers out there trying to do what you're accusing men of doing, you know? Matthew chapter five and 11. Blessed are ye when men shall, shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Yeah. And this is exactly what these men of, of, of IUIC are doing by falsely accusing, you know, our elder apostles on down of, of, of these, these, uh, these acts, man, you know. The book of Proverbs chapter 16, oh, Salaki. The book of, chap, uh, of Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 through 19. These six things do the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in re running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and that and, and he that soweth discord among brethren. And this is exactly what the second in command of IUIC is doing, you know? Calling, calling the brothers bums and so forth and things of that nature, you know. And uh, that that's wicked, man, you know. But at the end of the day, it goes back to to uh, the book of uh, uh, Matthew chapter twelve and thirty six. By thy words, you you be justified or condemned, you know. And, and it's so funny how he sits here and he makes fun of the Heavenly Father's name as well as the Son's name and say that, you know, that's, you, you call them on the wrong names or something of that, something of that nature. And, and here's the thing about it. it you know, it's so, it, it, you know, the irony of it all is your leader, um, Bishop Nate, did a, 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 a video about the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You know, and it, it's probably still on on um, on the internet right to this day, you know? So now all of a sudden, you know, then now here lately now, a while back, you know, we got that video where, where they showed uh, Bishop Nate making mockery of the name and now you are doing the same thing and you both have marked yourselves for making fun or uh, mockery of the heavenly father and the son's name you're going to answer for it man you're going to answer for that you just mark you both have marked yourselves by by making fun of the heavenly father and the son's name man so Lord willing, I hope and pray that this was an edifying lesson to you brothers out there about slander. And once again, i like to give all praises and honor and glory that's definitely due to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim Rikach Radash for giving us this truth and knowledge. I'd like to give a special double honors to the elders and apostles on down. Peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. And until the next time, Lord willing, 
I say Shalom.